Good day, and welcome to an exciting lesson on volcanoes. Today we are going to look at where volcanoes are located around the world. Have you ever wondered why volcanoes occur? We will cover this including some very interesting facts about volcanoes. I have seen some really fascinating images on volcanoes, and I can't wait to learn more about them. So let's dive in. Please email us with your questions or suggestions. If you would like to receive notes on this class, drop your email in the comments section. Volcanoes are natural openings in the Earth's crust through which magma, volcanic ash, and gases are released from inside the Earth. The word volcano comes from the island Volcano, which is a volcanic island in Italy. Volcanoes can be incredibly destructive, but also play an important role in shaping our planet. There are more than 1,500 active volcanoes on Earth. There are also more than 80 volcanoes under the ocean. These volcanoes under the ocean are sometimes called submarine volcanoes. Active volcanoes are volcanoes that are erupting or that are expected to erupt in the near future. A dormant volcano is one that has not erupted for a long time, however, it may still erupt in the future. An extinct volcano is one which has erupted thousands of years ago, but it will probably never erupt again. Why do volcanoes erupt? The culprit behind volcanic eruptions is magma, this is molten rock simmering beneath Earth's surface. It is packed with heat and gases. Magma is constantly on the move, trying to find a way out. As magma heats up in the mantle, that is the layer below the crust, it becomes less dense and starts to rise. As magma rises, it can find a weak spot in the Earth's crust and erupts, spewing out lava, ash, and volcanic gases. Do you know where volcanoes are found on Earth? Do volcanoes just erupt randomly in any part of the world? To answer these questions, it is important to observe that volcanoes are not scattered randomly around Earth. Volcanoes are found on every continent. This includes underwater volcanoes or submarine volcanoes, which create most of Earth's oceanic crust. Volcanoes tend to cluster in specific areas, that means they are found in specific areas on the planet. And there's a reason for that. It is because of tectonic plates that make up Earth's crust. Most volcanoes are found along the edges of these tectonic plates. Tectonic plates are constantly moving apart and even pushing against each other. This map shows the location of volcanoes around the world as well as the tectonic plates. The volcanoes are shown as small yellow circles. The tectonic plate boundaries are shown by yellow and red lines. Yellow lines show divergent plates while red lines show convergent plates. Volcanoes exist or are located at the edges or boundaries of tectonic plates. Volcanoes are directly associated with the boundaries where tectonic plates meet. The movement and interaction of tectonic plates can result in volcanoes erupting. This is because at the plate boundaries, intense forces are generated by the movement of plates can cause magma from the Earth's mantle to rise towards the surface. The Mid-Atlantic Ridge, spanning the length of the Atlantic Ocean floor, marks a significant tectonic boundary where the North American plate and the Eurasian plate diverge. The South American plate and the African plate are also diverging from each other along the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. This geological feature represents one of the prime examples of seaflu spreading, where new oceanic crust is formed as magma wells up from the Earth's mantle along the divergent boundary. As the plates move apart at the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, magma ascends to fill the void, solidifying upon contact with the cold seawater. This continuous process results in the creation of new oceanic crust, accompanied by volcanic activity along the ridge. The Ring of Fire is a horseshoe-shaped area in the Pacific Ocean where a large number of earthquakes and volcanic eruptions occur. 
It's called the Ring of Fire because it's shaped like a ring and has a lot of fiery volcanic activity. It is home to 90% of the world's earthquakes and 75% of the world's active volcanoes. It contains a string of 452 volcanoes. This 40,000-kilometer line of volcanoes, tremors, and earthquakes is around the edge of the Pacific Ocean. The Ring of Fire stretches from the western coast of North and South America, up through Alaska, down through Japan, Southeast Asia, and the Philippines, and then along the western coast of South America. Volcanoes are closely linked to the Ring of Fire because most of the world's volcanoes are located around its edges. These volcanoes form because of the movement of tectonic plates beneath the Earth's surface. The Pacific tectonic plate is one of the major tectonic plates on the Earth's crust. It covers a large portion of the Pacific Ocean, including the Ring of Fire area. The Pacific plate is constantly moving and interacting with other plates along its edges. Where the Pacific plate meets other plates, it can either slide under them, this is known as subduction, it can move past them, or push against them. These interactions cause a lot of geological activity, including earthquakes and volcanic eruptions, which are common in the Ring of Fire region. Subduction is common feature in the Ring of Fire. Subduction occurs when one tectonic plate slides beneath another plate. In the Ring of Fire, the Pacific plate often subducts beneath other plates, such as the North American, South American, and Philippine plates. As we have already seen, deep in the Earth, it is extremely hot. It is so hot that rocks actually melt and form magma, which makes up the mantle of the Earth. The upper mantle mixes and moves, which creates pressure underneath the crust. This pressure can sometimes cause the magma to leak out onto the surface of the Earth. Most volcanic activity is linked to plate tectonics. Volcanoes commonly occur at the boundaries of these tectonic plates where they interact. Let's look at divergent and convergent plates and how they can result in volcanoes erupting. Some volcanoes occur when tectonic plates move apart. At divergent boundaries, plates move apart or diverge. This opens cracks in the Earth's crust, allowing hot molten magma to rise and erupt. The magma then solidifies and forms a new crust. The Mid-Atlantic Ridge is a divergent boundary where magma rises to the surface, forming underwater volcanoes and creating a new oceanic crust. Some volcanoes occur when a tectonic plate slides under another tectonic plate. When tectonic plates collide at convergent boundaries, one plate may be forced beneath the other in a process called subduction. As the subducting plate descends into the mantle, it melts back into the mantle, creating magma. The descending plate melts due to the high temperature and pressure in the Earth's mantle, forming magma. This magma rises through weaknesses in the crust, leading to volcanic eruptions. What is the difference between magma and lava? Well, magma is liquid rock inside a volcano. Lava is the name for liquid rock that has flowed out of a volcano. Lava takes a long time to cool down as it is not a good heat conductor. As a lava flow cools down, it gets slower and thicker. In summary, volcanoes are essential for the Earth's cooling process, releasing internal heat and pressure. They shape our planet's landscape and contribute to its dynamic nature. Remember, while volcanoes can be amazing to look at, they also pose risks to nearby communities. Volcanic ash that erupts from the volcano will fall back down onto the earth like powdery snow. If this ash is thick enough, it can cover and suffocate surrounding plants and animals and also contaminate streams and rivers. Mount St. Helens is an active volcano located in Washington, USA in the Cascade Mountain Range. On the 18th of May, 1980, it erupted and killed 57 people and destroyed lots of roads and homes. Erupting volcanoes can be dangerous, 
but also beneficial. They can trigger earthquakes, landslides, and tsunamis in other areas. Understanding why and where volcanoes occur is important and helps us prepare for and reduce the risks associated with volcanic eruptions. Monitoring volcanoes is important for our safety. Volcanoes are powerful forces of nature, but they also bring benefits. Volcanic ash can enrich soil, and geothermal energy from volcanoes can be used to generate electricity. Volcanic ash also contains minerals that can nourish plants and bring nutrients to surrounding soil. We have come to the end of our class today. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Please attempt these questions before the answers pop up. That is all for today and keep well.